it has a very apparent and potent yeah taste it's it's not some bullshit but uh, admit hello what you smoking kaylee i need to smoke something come on right I, I I don't have all of my tools with me. I don't. I'm not ready. I I had to come by here before I went to the dispensary, and I got to read up. So. You don't have anything. I have some concentrate, but I got to do too much to. I got to put it more fuel in my damn. Uh, Let's have at it. Come on, come on. I'm so excited. This is our last one. The last one. If you don't get yourself together now. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. Come on. Who's my violin? Come on, dun, dun. listen. That goddamn music. Woo! Beautiful and lovely. And lovely. Can you believe? <coughs> There's one corner. I'll just take a hit of this. Hey! Corner. There we go. To 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 Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. <laughs> For my life. I don't feel. I, I I don't know why I'm toasted to it because I'm pissed off. I don't know why. I'm, well, let's talk about it. How you feel? Can I just okay? Go ahead. Go ahead. You pissed, right? That's ah, it. go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. <coughs> that personally, and this is contrary to a lot of what I've seen. It was not bad compared to what I anticipated. I I really mm. did expect <coughs> worse from the way it was leading in. Um, I didn't. I, I expected worse, so I was almost. <coughs> I won't say so, but I gave a pass because I, I didn't expect to still be, uh, be able to be surprised by them. I thought it had gotten so ugh, that there was, I wasn't even expecting an element of surprise. And I received that. I didn't see the end going how it was going. So that, or, the, or whoever, or Brent, I didn't, I didn't see that coming. So the fact that there were elements of surprise and uh, ways that I didn't foresee. I have been wrong every episode of this, of, of, of the recap, so that was pretty mm. consistent. But the fact that I didn't see it coming kind of made me feel like, all right. Does it make me want to go back and rewatch anything? No, but is it kind of like, yeah, what do you do? That's how I feel about the recap. It wasn't like a, damn, I expected more of a damn than I got, I must admit. It wasn't, it wasn't that bad to me. It was just kind of like, ah, mm. here we are. And Wait. that's what made me mad. Because it was meh. It was like, eh. Yeah. Eh. That made me, because to me, there was some really great character development over the course of all of these seasons, and it just fell flat. I mean, I get it, Bran, you know, being the keeper of all things and all of that. You know, I get it. But it just still seemed very rushed to me, like, wrap it up kind of thing and I, I just I, I actually was very invested in these characters and their stories and I just felt like it was just got cut short and didn't give me everything that I want I don't even know what I wanted yeah I don't even know what I wanted but I just wanted more than that like to me I am still mad that Cersei died that way oh yeah like she is one of the best villains ever <laughs> and she was so dynamic of a character and you saw so many of aspects of her that her dying with Jamie under debris was just like not good enough for me. <laughs> I agree with that. I told I totally I totally agree with that. I did feel like there was a little justice in um John killing Daenerys. I, I, I knew that I predicted he was gonna kill her. Uh, uh, you did. did you sure did. did. Okay no, oh, wait a minute. Okay. I I actually feel both of you guys okay I did feel like it was a little, eh, okay. Because I felt like when I was just getting into it, I said, no, this, this can't be it. Mm -hmm. this, this, we just got started. It didn't feel like an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. It did not feel like that. No. Which also made me feel like, well, damn, y'all was damn sure moving. It didn't feel slow, but it did also feel in ways kind of rushed. Mm -hmm. So I damn sure, I did feel that. I think maybe after hearing or, or, or reading some of the opt-ins mm -hmm. and getting other people's opinions, I did kind of feel a sense of satisfaction mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. kind of overall. And then I just kind of came with, I said, well, I guess so. We started with the Starks and we ended up with the Starks. But it wasn't, like you said, the expectation that I had. Mm -hmm. And I didn't, I mean, if I didn't see 
I couldn't put one person on the throne. Mm-hmm. I think I, I did say, well, I could see so-and-so being on it. Yeah. I think I may have said, well, I guess I could see Braun ass being on it too. Right. But right. I actually play something so they did still kind of leave me in some sort of suspense like well shit I don't know what's going to happen but a lot of people's endings kind of fucked me up and I was like I don't like this no I see I don't know I think I was I took it to me instead of disliking this episode I think I kind of just took it on the chin like Mm -hmm. right I kind of like this council I kind of like that Brahms off doing what he do. Like, where's Drogon? All right, you gotta go find him. What the fuck? I'll find him. That's what I'll find him. The fact that Tyrion's kind of king. Like, Tyrion, just run this. Do this, okay? And I kind of like who he's sitting at his table with. You know, I think that's... A, that was refreshing. It's perfect. It's perfect. I mean, it's refreshing. I'm like, these people can start a new world. Exactly. Because you need this type of balance of, of fuckery and, 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 and brawn and, and brains and, you know... It wasn't and, and a inside. table full of, like, no. nobles or people who no. had been, you know, ushered in politically. It no. was like a bit of a misfit. Earned, very earned, but very earned positions. It's like, yeah. Table that well, and what, one thing that I really... Because I, we always have been like curious about what happened with Brand, Bran, Bran, and Tyrion uh, in that conversation before the long night. Yeah. And when Tyrion was like, I-, I still don't know what all he told him, yeah. but he told him something yeah. to make him, you know, be like, well, Bran needs to be on the throne. Yeah, and, and, yeah I mean, it's like I said, that's how I mean, you know, I was yeah. even, I wasn't quite satisfied, but I was satisfied that it wasn't a happily ever after for Jon Snow because y'all know how I felt about Jon Snow since day one. No, he didn't. He, I don't want him to have a happily ever after. But, either. Well, I know, shit, I was pissed off. I was sad. Like, bye, bye. Oh, no. I was pissed off. I couldn't believe. No, I couldn't believe he got dead like that. I was mad that he got exiled though. Oh. I was like, he that come on. But he just come on. And it's like, okay, you became a wild one now. Like, he just like, all right, you got your dog, you out here. I knew I that shit. Uh, I knew that shit. Like, what, he want, like, what did he really want anyway? He just That's wanted what, to be free. And he's free. And he's free. And I think he, he even knew that. Now, who I didn't think realize that, that, that John was going to be able to do whatever the fuck he wanted was Grey Worm. Yeah. Grey Worm was yeah. Yeah. Huh. And I was right. so But I'm like, Grey Worm, you a commander. You not the king, no, dog. I mean... When 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 John looked back was like to Tyrion, this is the white watch, white yeah. nigga blood. Yeah. Yeah. I already knew. I said, "Well, shit, that's your homeboy right now. This is about to be some fuckery here." He just walked through and just kept walking, and I'm like, honestly, all right, I'll but, take that for John. But we know. use John through and through to do everybody's dirty work under the guise of him being a noble and upstanding mm-hmm. person, no. and that's and that's not nice. I, no, I feel like these are his, he. he, he Okay. He hesitated to do his duties. He hesitated to do his duties and was rightfully punished. He's, uh, no. Just fine. I'm just so, I'm, so. I was satisfied with that too. So just needless to say, like, I get there was, there seemed to be great disappointment across the board. And me, I just, do you know what, honestly, and, and, and I'm talking about this in Book Fun's Bullshit, but the th- interesting thing about it is now that that was not so satisfying to me, I'm more inclined to read the book. If it was too satisfying to me, I would be less inclined to read the book because then my appetite is satisfied. So right? you know you want to read the books? I'm more inclined, yeah. I'm more you inclined to see now what George, what, no, not, not, well, not up until this point. I'm talking about what he would write next because I know oh, that he, he's written yeah. that's been, uh, so that's, that's done, that's done. But I'm yeah. talking about, I would want to see what his imagination now would take. Well, yeah. see, that's what, okay. Well, then I apologize because yeah. I, I, I perked up because, so you guys remember the Red Wedding, yeah. right? And how Catherine dies. So in the books, that's not the rest of her story. Oh, see. Oh yeah, didn't she like dead and she haunts people and stuff? Did right. I hear that? And so a lot of people who follow the books fell off after that because they was like, nah, bitch, because Catherine keeps it the fuck pushing. Like yeah. I don't appreciate that. Yeah. So I so now that's why I was like, oh I'm shit. I, I now I'm even yeah, yeah like, I'm oh, even like, let me see what the hell I missed. But see, like I don't want to say what he would do now. Like, what would you do now? Given the story they told, yeah. what would George R. R. Martin, like, what would he do now? So that's interesting. But yeah. Can I, we talk about how Drogon was given all kind of emotion? Can oh, we talk about how he was given emotion? I I almost like I was tearing up. I got yeah, emotional after that. Like that was yeah. because it, it Drogon, like just from the from the nudges 
Like he couldn't believe yeah. what was going on. And then the, also like the, the pivot to John, uh, which th there seemed there was also a very clear understanding there. What? Intelligent, intelligent being. To that, oh. to that throne be. And oh, I said, cause it said, was like, he said, let me burn this shit down right now. Oh, fuck this throne, like really, really. And even for the evil, it was him pick her up and just leave with her. Like, you know what? Oh, and that fire, the way they, they did that with his fire growing, like, and he can't, I can't kill you because you're you, but how could you? You did this? Like, you felt all of that. And even for when he, when she first died, and you hear him like, wait. You hear yeah. him like a stern, like a stern. Yeah, something a stern. Yeah. Something's a foot, it, whoa, 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 whoa. And then he comes but, and, Yo, I knew when Tyrion had that conversation with him, I said, John knows he got to kill her. He got to kill her. You he got to. I, I he ain't killing nobody, but he going to kill her. He got to. John, I can't. I thought that. She's like, I said, oh. That no, was I, knew, I knew he had to do something, but he couldn't tell. He couldn't tell nobody, though, because she got ears everywhere. You know what I'm saying? He can't say shit. But the type of person John is to his court, even... Even now, he could have, even though Drogon, like, killed the, the damn throne with the fire, and people don't, he didn't have to say, oh, I killed her. Who was there? Who y'all? Hello, can we, hi, That's because John is who the fuck he is. Because I'm going to go on Drogon and got the hell on. I know you say, mad. You know who the fuck I am. <laughs> Let's go. Only Targaryens can ride you, so just go on, bow down, bitches, and get the hell on out of here. He could have done that. That's what I'm saying, but that's just not who he is. It's but not he, who he is. So he Which now pisses me off because it's like, you know what? Good guys are still finishing last. <laughs> <laughs> is he a good guy? Is he? Is he? I, don't know. I don't know that we can call him that. that John might be one of them good guys that be doing like. He, but John has been noble through and through. He has, he has been noble. The faith that's been given to him, he's always tried to be humble. He died. He full on died, y'all, and someone else brought him back to life. He thought it was over there, and he was happy to go. He said, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of yep. it. Goodbye. He woke it's up true. and said, oh, God damn. I can't it's catch a break. It's true. But at least Grady Arm and Unsullied, they got their own little land. Everybody cool. Everybody, but the, the crazy part was when Sam was like, what if we can have this democracy popping up in here? And they were like, uh, excuse me. What? No. <laughs> what if like the people, everybody. When that uncle stood up. And saw the kind of, saw the sad <laughs> Brother, come here. <laughs> we will always be independent. I love you, but no. Oh, I like that too. Talk, now, now, you yeah. talk about a full on try it. I said, well, well, well. I like well. it though. Like, and, and it was I, I like Sansa being Queen of the North. She deserves it. It makes sense. We we will we will never ever again because no, she you know she also gave her reference for thousands of years. Yeah, she did. <laughs> she did. She did. She did. And even Brad, Brad saying everybody was where they're supposed to be when they're supposed to be there. <laughs> Which is you know everything already. You know everything. I'm Anybody seen it? Brad off doing him. Like, listen, okay, y'all say y'all want me here. Okay, cool, but. Tyrion, we'll get it right. I know you will. Yeah. You knew that, but you couldn't tell us what the fuck the outcome was going to be, yeah. Bron. Yeah. Yeah. God damn it. And he, that's why God also and then we didn't need to be in any of those fictional times. We needed to be <laughs> right the hell when we was. I don't know, y'all. I just, I know this is the last one, the wrap up. It's been some really epic seasons, and this one just was not. So did and that the others now? Are the others tainted now? Like, it's no, not for me. No. Not for me. I just think the culmination of such dynamic storytelling just was not as great as I think it could have been. It just really did feel like, and, and I don't want to disrespect the writers and creators because it's still really great television. I'm comparing Game of Thrones to Game of Thrones. Let's keep it real. All right. Like, still great television, but compared to what it was, you know, it just didn't measure up to me. Anything. I mean, yeah, sorry, New York. <laughs> um, again, like, yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't have the, the same thirst right now to go back to watch the past ones again. Now I'm just more like, I would like to see what George R. R. might. Like, is there another way we could end this? <laughs> like, yeah. Like, if, a book, if the book could be written and it could leave me a little more fulfilled. Again, yeah. it's, uh, it's all right. 
I'm not completely disappointed. It just felt more like a summary than a full story. You yeah. Know, in sense. So it's kind of like I feel cheated in that way, but I can't say the outcome. I wish they told, gave me three more episodes to tell me this. You get what I'm saying? That's, that's what I'm saying. It should have been eight, at least eight to ten episodes. I don't, I don't, I'm not mad at what they told me. I'm not mad at what happened. I'm just more mad at how. Yeah. So, so. Me, I, same. Totally. Same. Yeah. No, I, I, I still, because I still, I still don't agree with Cersei Fine the way she did. Oh, no, that part no. You guys don't agree with, can I tell you? Okay. I, okay, so you guys wanted, I, okay, you hear me out. I, you guys seem, it sounds like, or seems to me, that you guys wanted a more epic ending, but I did feel like in the space and time and a final late as fuck realization from Cersei, bitch, get the hell on out of here, you dumbass fool, mm-hmm. and go twin, you know, our womb twin, you know, they, they say twins got something extra special. I don't know. Okay. They say their twins got something extra special. So, you know, it's like a person that's holding on to their final moments of death until that one person finally comes to the hospital. Then they finally die. Mm-hmm. So, okay. So I was like, all right, let me give them the benefit of the doubt. This twin shit, we just going to hold on to the last moment. I did think, with respect to her being a queen, thinking, I want my baby, finally getting that realization, girl, this is not about you. Mm-hmm. I want my baby to live, having those moments. God bless Jamie. Holding on to the bitter end because he should have been dead, but okay. You know, hope against all hope. That twin connection, you see this red light at the tunnel. I felt like they had a a noble death. Mm. A noble death. Because, bitch, y'all were dying. I, I saw that. I said, bitch, this is it. Y'all just ran into another trap. I don't know how you guys thought. Yeah. But Cause I mean, I saw the wall. I said, "You keep going underground. Everything's collapsing on top of you." I, just, I got very confused. Cause I just thought, you know, everything was going in. <laughs> I, I would have taken just. It, I almost would have taken any other day. When you but, wanted the execution, you wanted yeah. the display. You guys I, wanted I, the display. I, I, I don't take it anybody killing her, just as long as someone killed. Her. So you guys didn't want to know. Even if she killed herself, even yeah. if she killed herself. And poison or jumped off of something or something. Like, I, I she was on the was a bad bitch. I would have okay? taken her. But then we would have, if she would have took, if she would have did that, to me, a bad bitch would be like, ain't nobody killing me. I kill myself or you kill me. Seriously, even she win, even when she fighting this herself. <laughs> She's like, like I feel like she would be the person and be like, fuck this shit. This bitch ain't gonna kill me. I'll kill myself. I would rather seriously say that. Like, you kill me, I'd rather kill myself. Yeah, I feel like Cersei would say that. Like, okay, so okay. that okay, I think okay. you guys are on to something because that's when Cersei was getting ready to take her own life. Remember when she was sitting on the throne, she had the baby, oh, and then her God. pops walked in. So now mm-hmm. let's let's look at it differently from the perspective of my savior. Because remember, Jamie, Jamie came through. Okay. Follow me. Okay. I don't want my yeah. baby. Back. So her perspective is not. Bitch, you coming for me? I'm gonna just go ahead and end it now. But she's been that way the whole time, whether she's been pregnant or not. She's been like, "Fuck a bitch." The whole, I mean, yeah, she, she, her, when her children were alive, but we don't even know if Cersei was really pregnant. Like that's the thing. Was she? Was she? Yeah. She's yes. She was probably no. There has been no confirmation that Cersei Lannister was pregnant, except her, her own words. She she was pregnant by Jamie. She that's why she she didn't. That's why I feel like that. But that it was only her words that said it. But that's her also words. but that's <laughs> to to that scene with her and Iran. She was reluctant. She did not want to sleep with him, but she had to. Exactly. But she had to because she had she she's had to carry a story. She, she had to make up. she has to make him believe that whatever the fuck is going inside me is yours. Exactly. My brother is gone, so she she had to be pregnant. So that's my thing. She don't look at it as no sacred fucking thing. Until, a, that's what, that's a what power I, move for her. It was, but that's what I was saying. Until it shifted, when all hope is finally lost, she didn't expect to see Jamie. So that when she turned around, it was like all her defenses finally came to fuck down. Mm. So now she feels like she's safe. So she's not even thinking anymore. This fool wouldn't leave her damn hand. Is like, hey, man. It's it we're all it's not safe. Should direct keep his <laughs> like I just I don't know. 
I just felt like that one was like Aria, you know, like I, I, I'm, I was satisfied with Aria because I'm like, that is appropriate for Aria. <laughs> I agree. It's like, fuck, I don't know what's west, but I'm going there. And John, John was appropriate. Me too. Bye. John was appropriate. Aria was appropriate. I just Danny was appropriate. Danny had to have her ass. Podrick, Podrick was appropriate. Podrick was appropriate. Podrick was appropriate. See, everybody. That council was thirsty to me. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Everybody. And she was the best fucking villain on the show. Can we revisit Brienne of Tar? And her Let taking that her. beat to 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 give Jamie his proper ending yeah. or uh, document his yeah. his contribution, even to that last protecting his queen. Mm -hmm. I hope she put in and made Brienne of Tar a fucking yeah, surf. I, I hope she put that in there. <laughs> Take a sip. <laughs> I'm being for real because you know, and, and granted, you know, with what's going on in the news, I am like really against the patriarchy right now. So, granted, that's where my mind is. But I'm like, I hope she put some shit in there about her. <laughs> so, and right. what happened? I mean, because it was all the truth, and it was important that he did that. Yeah. You know, so and you oh. see, y'all see how he did. <laughs> they they did Tyrion. He had nothing written about him. No shit. He did. yes, he was not. He was upset. I mean, Brand is smart though. Brand no, Brand no. Tyrion the fucking smart. Yeah, but like Tyrion kill people. He did his yeah. good stuff. Yeah. That's good stuff. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. He <laughs> kept people alive, most notably himself. And then you saw <laughs> Gendry. He was there, sitting there at the council. Gendry. He was the Gendry or whatever he was sitting there. I said. Yeah. Arya don't even want to come back and do it to you one more time. Arya, you need to take that like, man on that boat and get the hell on both y'all together. Yeah, Arya's like, we gonna see what's out there. And it made sense. Like I'm saying, like it was, it was fine. You know, it was fine. It was fine, fine, but fine is not Game of Thrones. That's true. I'm sorry. Did y'all see true. the water bottle that was apparently by Samuel's foot? I missed that. Yeah. I looked at it again to see it, and I thought. Now, see, now, now, see that type of shit starting to piss me off now. Now I don't want to tell them we're just done. And so anyone with the point, you have excellence. Thought you have excellence at the end. They were done, y'all. A Starbucks cup, a plastic water bottle, wrapping it up in six episodes. No, it's not Game of Thrones. I, t I tell you, who won't be editing our stuff? <laughs> you gonna be excellent at the start, and you gonna be excellent at the finish. That's what made a contract. I'm just, I, I mean, it was fine. It was totally it was fine. fine. It wasn't yeah. like it was bad. But again, I'm get, I'm rating Game of Thrones against Game of Thrones. Yes. So. Totally understandable. That's valid. That's completely valid. I mean, there's a lot of good shows out there. This is greatness. Game so, of Thrones is greatness. Epicness. That shit wasn't epic. Sorry. No, it wasn't epic. I, I don't know. It, it, it wasn't. But you know, like I said, like, maybe guys... <laughs> So why are you giving them the benefit of the doubt? This is hardcore television watching. Stop giving them the benefit of the doubt. It's not even, I'm not even, what I'm saying is now this just leaves space for the books. This to, and the spin-offs. Yeah, I mean, I but honestly, it kind of taints the, that, that desire. I don't necessarily want to see. But yet, only one Arya. Take me on the adventures of Arya. Three books, but three seasons behind. Yes, because now he can do his thing. Because I, I just think, ladies and gentlemen, whoever had control of this, they they, they fell short. That ain't got nothing to do with. Well, Jordan. I tell you, the editors fell short. Uh, Mark Martin and what he got going on. Come on, nothing to do with that. Martin, so give him a chance. Martin like, said this. I'm happy with the checks I've been receiving. True. I stopped four books ago, y'all. But got... I read. But I read that he he thought that the season should have been longer. I and the HBO. Yeah. So, so now, come on. If the if the author is saying. Link. And the fact that the producers D and D were like, "I'm staying off of, or I'm staying offline and getting drunk yeah. during the finale." They knew that was some bullshit. They knew it. And whoever they, saw that episode with that damn water bottle said, "Oh shit!" <laughs> they didn't care no more, y'all. They was like, "Let's wrap it on up." Wrap it on they up. have the nerve to tell us <laughs> that we can watch a documentary next Monday. I don't. I don't want to. Y'all gonna? Well, I'm definitely watching it because you know I live for that shit. Yeah. Uh, can't wait. 
I'll be there. We all almost start at the beginning and get clarity. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. So yeah, that was it. Uh, uh, you know. All right, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Whatever. So until next time, I guess. I mean, I don't know. I don't even know when next time will be now, right? So I think we need to transition into something else. Maybe we can talk about the Patanka Wives. I don't know. But. Well, our last episode, the, the first seven minutes are about Housewives of Patanka. We did put an <laughs> amendment into that YouTube video. So thank you guys, if you wanted to speed up, this is where you can start with our Game of Thrones. So I don't know. Maybe we can move on to Patanka because I those are the only girls I really watch um, on the Housewives. You, yeah, did you right the last episode? I did indeed. I did indeed. Well, well, well. <laughs> we gotta come Not this time, but we're gonna get to that. That's a little. Oh, sure. y'all. Until next time, America. What did you think about this final episode of Game of Thrones? Keep it real, y'all. Keep it real. You know it was just fine. I like Cersei's death. They did not. All right. Lastly, how do we feel about Grey Worm's in it? Because Grey Worm was pissed. I mean, Grey Worm was fine. I'm glad they got laid. I'm glad they got that shit. You know, he tried to flex. It wasn't his part. It's fine. You know? It's messed up. Grey Worm gave a lot of himself. Y'all just gave him a whole fine. He, he gave a lot of himself, and then he, I mean, if you're going to flex, you got to flex 100%. You can't flex like 50%, and then be like, all right, I'll take the land. I don't know. Like he, they captured Tyrion and had him like a prisoner, or John a prisoner. But like they didn't accomplish their goal. So I mean, I don't know. <laughs> like it was just like yeah, just I didn't understand that whole thing because it was like he was their prisoner. But what are they bargaining really? He just yeah. He just he just he wanted, wanted him to die. Justice. He just wanted something. He just wanted justice, and he didn't really talk. Like, did he want? Yeah, did he want him to die? Did he? Yeah. I just didn't understand that. I mean, you know, it just seemed like he was pissed, which I get, but if you trying to be a damn, you know, ruler and tell people that they need to fucking like be killed or you want to avenge your queen or have some tactic, have some strategy, have some something that you want in return to do them. Because he was paid, he wasn't paid for being brave. And it's going to be Exactly. So that's why he needs to stay in his place. What you say? It was also going to be hard for him to justify that with all so many Starks at the table who was going to have that final decision. Yeah. But I totally feel you because yeah, for Grey Worm it was like death. He 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 should die for what he did. And also yeah. Grey Worm, it seems to me that he might have been the only one outside of a couple of other council members who did not know that Jon Snow was also a Targaryen. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, he didn't know. Yep. Which yep. might have. Yeah. like. Oh, was it? Yeah, I told him, like, yeah, he, it's a lot of people who'd be real mad <laughs> if you mess with that one. So just take it easy. Take it easy. Yeah. I don't know. That that whole council was, I guess, you know, King's Landing going to rise again and everybody be fine. And they're moving toward a democracy and that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> fine. Fine. All right, y'all. Well, that's it on Game of Thrones forever. It's been a good run, man. I wish we could have. We were doing this for prior seasons. I feel like, you know, but better than like, our yeah. Not even so many people are just getting yo. So many people are just starting to watch the yeah, whole yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a great show. I encourage people to still watch it. It's, it's a, a great show. show. So, so, so and, and, and it, is, it is valid. Like, like Kaylee, I think you said earlier, it's valid to say, even though we're saying fine, understand this standard of fine is of the utmost excellence that, like, it's incomparable to, to the best TV right. that you're talking about. Yep. It's not, it, it's fine by its own standard. It's fine by the greatest standard that you know if you haven't watched Game of Thrones yet. That's so, it. And don't ever get lazy. All the creators out there, finish it. You be excellent at the start, be excellent at the end. Just be, be consistent mm -hmm. because it, it does matter. Your mm -hmm. name is on it. Mm -hmm. Your name I do have to ask y'all a controversial question. From, from my old boss. Is, like, 
your name is on it. So just see it through, even if you're tired, see it through. Just remove the water, water bottle, it's fine. <laughs> oh my God. I do have to, uh, I, can I ask y'all a controversial question? Please. I have to ask about Daenerys's whole character story arc and like her whole shit and how she met her ending, you know, like, how do y'all feel about that? I mean, she was looked upon as a quote unquote savior and she helped, she was the breaker of chains and she did all this. And then that speech at the end, first of all, that shot was epic with Drogon coming out and her flying, I mean, epic shot. But that speech, how do you determine what is good? That was the thing that John said. So you're saying that it's good, but how do you know that you're the right person to say that it's good or that we are the, the barometer for what's good and what's not good? How do y'all feel about that? Like, I, I even think her response to that was a little testament to where she was at, in the mind at the time. She was like, you know, kind of saying, like, well, good thing we're the ones that get to, to decide, kind of thing. You know, when he asked that question of, like, how do you know it's good? I didn't have a problem with it. I think it, with the way she met her in, because I think it was just true to the fact that she had gone mad at that point. You know, like, she'd gone mad, and, and it was, it, it seemed it was, it was saving her something or, or saving the grand scheme of things in that effect so it didn't seem unjust into the to the in contrast to the whole story to me i didn't get that watching it from from the onset it was just more felt like and unfortunate more than unjust like you know, mm. I, I, I didn't see it going like that for you as opposed to how did it go like that for kimberly Shit. <laughs> I felt bad. I think I felt bad in like the grand scheme of things because you know, you we watched Daenerys from the beginning, from the birthing of the dragons and then like seeing her come into her own as a like mm -hmm. a leader. Um, but you also saw her just not you saw her listen to the council, but you didn't see her hear the council. Mm -hmm. Um, and that can be problematic as a leader. It, it, you know, you look at it in our own country, like, I'm, you're not the president of just good and evil. You're the president of a, of a nation and it's not black and white. It, it, you have to look beyond that. And, and she snapped. Mm -hmm. She absolutely snapped. And, and it became about her personal agenda. And, it, which it, wasn't, and that's just, it's, that's never good. And it's so unfortunate because you you do you put so much hope in in a, in that in the strength that she exuded and, and what we saw her as this breaker of trains, but yeah you saw her just demolish and just start just just it was massacres and it was you look at it back and you go yeah I guess it was a massacre at this place and yeah I guess there was a massacre at this place, so what are you gonna govern? Like, you got all this, girl, but who's left there? Mm -hmm. So y'all gonna just keep fucking and build a whole... Like, that just shit don't even, like, logically make much sense to me. And so I think it's, like, it's in, it's unfortunate, but it's also a, a lesson that, like... I go back to, like, you know how black folks always say it takes a village to raise a child? Mm -hmm. It really does. It takes, it takes a lot of counsel to govern mm -hmm. kingdoms. Mm -hmm. And even if she would have got on the Iron Throne, and if she had to be the one to listen to songs and go, well, we've always been independent for that mm -hmm. years, mm -hmm. how would you have taken that? Mm -hmm. Because what about all the other, the six other kingdoms who did buy into it? Yep, we're going to be ruled under this. And mm -hmm. well, why the fuck do they get to? Mm -hmm. She had to go. Mm -hmm. She had to go. Mm -hmm. I think of her as like so many politicians. <laughs> You know, you get into it, you want to make a difference, you want to change, and then corruption comes um, because that's the nature of the beast. You know, I had a really interesting conversation with someone and they were talking about, like, they're in the military and they were talking about, no, she did. I mean, I'm, it's kind of annoyed. It, it, this person was annoyed that people were calling her mad and saying she went mad when from a military kind of strategic point of view, you demolish all of your enemies without anybody living. Like, if you're trying to create a world, 
not that it's right or wrong, but if this is what your goal is, you take out everybody. The and it's no questions. And I'm like, comes in with the enemies. See, her definition of the enemy the, is slow. That's the difference with Tamaris. Her definition, definition of the enemies is very well defined at first. Yeah. Anyways, it was mm-hmm. those who, you know, just had, just inhibited people who were lesser than them. That was a very, yeah. Different. It became a very slippery slope when her own agenda came into play. So it was not the yeah. being strategic for military tactics. No, it became about this is what I want and a very, by any means necessary approach. Yep. Approach. Of sacrificing a lot mm-hmm. of innocent people, no, then you become the necessary sacrifice. Mm-hmm. Fortunate again for that. Yeah. yeah. I she think that was necessary. So. She had to go. And John had to do it, the nobleman. All right, y'all. <laughs> again, y'all. Salute. Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones, y'all. Epic, epic television. Epic television. Epic Except fun. that last episode. It was just fine. It was just fine. Overall, <laughs> overall, uh, amazing, epic, the best. Last episode, fine. The cast to the crew, well done, great, good job. Thank, thank you. you, thank you, and thank you, Sarita, for introducing, making me and Safan sit there and watch it. And we it. it. In the Housewives of Potanka. That's up next. I, oh, actually, so, the damn Housewives franchise. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Whatever, who, 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 whoever's on. Right. Okay. Who's watching Atlanta and then Potanka. It was like, all right. And, and for those who don't watch, it's Housewives of Potomac. We just, words to Dineva. Mm-hmm. My hair is laid like, Robin, what the short could it be? <laughs> she, what did, what did her, her hair is short? So she ain't got no patience? What's wrong with my hair is short, just like my patience. Well, there we have it. All right, y'all. <laughs> All right, y'all. Till next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.